Alright, hey guys, what's going on? This is Christopher Zero, of course, and Mikey Allstar here. And today we have another custom minifigure showcase. Oh, yeah! So today we have another purest Harry Potter minifigure, and that is Neville Longbottom. So let's go ahead and take a look at this minifigure. Alright, so first off, here we go. Here is his wand. It is just a plain brown wand. Very cool. And uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the wand piece, you can hold it two ways, the minifigure can. The first way is like this, with the little ball at the end. There we go. You can hold it like that. Or, you can hold it like this, where you, he, the uh, minifigure holds onto both pieces. And yeah, there we go. There we go. Super awesome uh, Lego piece. A very new piece, and I'm very glad they made this. And alright, here we go. So this minifigure is very easy to make. All you need is two minifigures from the collectible minifigure series of Harry Potter. That is Hermione Granger and, of course, Neville Longbottom. As well as you need this hairpiece, which does not come from the Lego minifigure series of Harry Potter, but it's a pretty easy hairpiece to find. So, alright, here we go. First off, you can see here, his legs are just the uh, normal teen legs with uh, red printing from the robes, as well as some more detailing from the robes. This uh, long gray line that comes down from the robes. Pretty awesome, I really like these legs. I like how they can bend and they're still kind of short. And alright, here we go. So here is his torso. Pretty awesome. I really like this torso. As is here, he's got his uh, Gryffindor robes on. You've got the uh, dark red on there, as well as the uh, crest right there. You've got the red and then the yellow, or gold, if you will. And yeah, you've also got this clasp thing right here, keeping the uh, uh, the cloak together, which is pretty cool. Or the robes, I should say, together. You've also got some more red detailing up there. And then underneath, you've got his uh, Hogwarts sweater on, with his Gryffindor sweater, I should say. You've got some ruffles at the bottom, as well as a yellow line with a red line going in. You've got, uh, it's all in dark gray, and you've also got some white right there for his uh, undershirt for that. And you also have uh, his tie, which is uh, red and gold as well. Very cool. On the back, he has this, this uh, hood, and you've got, it's in a dark gray, as well as it has some red on it. You also have some more lines for detailing there. Pretty cool. His arms are black arms, plain and simple, and his hands are flesh colored hands. And then here is the head. This head is from the Neville Longbottom minifigure, which is uh, him in his uh, greenhouse attire. So, alright, here we go. I thought this head was pretty cool. And alright, it has a double side. So here's the first side. And then here is the other side where he's fainted. Pretty cool. And then here is the hair. It's this kind of uh, brush to the side hair. I figured this was pretty close. It's probably not uh, the most accurate hair piece for Neville. But uh, the hair piece that they used for the minifigure... Uh, has um, earmuffs on it, and it looks like this hair, pretty much, more or less. So I figured this would work out pretty well. And yeah, there we go, so that is Neville Longbottom. Pretty easy minifigure to make. I have another idea on how to make him, so I might be doing that too in the future. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this minifigure showcase, well, custom minifigure showcase. If you have any uh, minifigures you want me to make, or any minifigures you want me to showcase, feel free to let me know, and I'll try to do that to my, the best of my ability. And uh, as far as Assassin's Creed minifigures, I haven't started uh, Connor yet, but I will start him pretty soon, maybe even this weekend. So anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!